Joined to Ibiza by shallow waters, it is the most southern and smallest of the inhabited Balearics, Formentera. Totally flat, the island's highest point reaches 200 meters above sea level. The geological constitution of the island is the same as that of its neighbor, a limestone block worn away by erosion. The boat coming from Ibiza draws alongside La Savina. This town owes its name to the salt marshes nearby. They have been one of Formentera's main resources. The buildings respect the island's profile and are limited in height. The name Formentera could come from the Latin frumentaria, which means land of wheat. The cultivated fields encircle the administrative center, San Francis de Formentera. Far from the influence of the continent, the first church wasn't built until the 18th century. An isthmus of five kilometers links the two extremities of the island. The long, narrow sandbar is bordered with well-protected beaches. The rocks that dot the water's surface keep the boats at a distance. Bathers, meanwhile, can endlessly enjoy the crystal clear waters. There are no overpopulated beaches, as Formentera has understood the need to protect itself. No obstacle mars the island's surface. Because of the total absence of hills, the wind is able to blow without restraint. To counter it, islanders have erected low stone walls, often embellished with prickly pear. The only mill left is too old and worn out to continue turning. The wind has grazed the island, as flat as the horizon, but one exception breaks the horizontal lines, the lighthouse of La Mola. Another hypothesis is offered by those interested in the origin of the name Formentera. The island is a promontory, which could be derived from the Latin term promontorium. The promontory is colonized by birds. To camouflage themselves, their feathers blend in with the rock. The seagull takes advantage of the ascending currents to fly off. Despite its steep cliffs, Formentera has always been vulnerable. Although it has been inhabited since 2000 BC, it was abandoned for long periods of time due to its insecurity. At the western extremity of the island, a church illuminates the village of El Pilar de la Mola. The hippies have also settled in Formentera. The reduced size of the island has made it easy to do business and has helped the hippie culture to survive. Flirty, looks about 30. I would have run away, but 
Fomontera has always steered between sky and sea. By taking care of itself, the island will continue to float without effort among the silvery jewels.